coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have a 1991 collection of coins from the United Kingdom and we're just going to look through them all and what we've decided this time to do is to do them from largest to smallest. And so the first one that you can see right here is the 50 pence coin from the United Kingdom and this is an interesting coin because this was not released in general circulation. The fi this 50 pence coin with the image here on the front, which is the Raphael David McClough image, and we can tell it's Raphael David McClough because if we magnify it and we look right here, we see an R, a D, and an M for Raphael David McClough, who was the engraver of the third portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. And of course, this is Queen Elizabeth II wearing the George the Fourth royal diadem, or this type of crown here. It says Elizabeth II behind her, DG Reg FD 1991 here. And you can see that it is brilliant, uncirculated. Um, it has never been in circulation. And this coin, weirdly enough, it's a heptagon, equilateral curve. So you see the kind of the curved sides. We get to the back, we see Britannia. This coin was made from 1985 to 1997, but only the year 1985 was a general circulation coin. Every other year was not circulated. Generally, it was a brilliant uncirculated or proof version, which means you had to buy these coins in a set. It's kind of a little funny for American collectors or international collectors of UK coins. Um, and we look here and we see it says 50 pence, we see Britannia holding out an olive branch, a trident here, a lion, and the Union Jack shield with a 50 below her. This image has been on UK coins since Roman times. They've actually found some old Roman images very similar to this uh, on Roman coins uh, that were used in the United Kingdom. So this coin was not for general circulation. And so if you want to get one, you have to buy a set or a broken set. So what's the next largest coin? Well, those of you in the know will say, of course, it's the 10P. And there it is, 10 pence there. It's the lion, crowned lion. And he is, it's also called a lion passant gardon, a guarding lion. And he is uh, looking right at the viewer and you see this crown over the top. And the quality of these coins is often found by looking at how these dots go and the separation of the dots. This coin here, some of you who collect general circulation coins may never have seen it because this 10 pence, the last of the large 10 pence coins from 1985 to 1992, same image on the front. Uh, it is a The rim is actually a reeded rim. Same image on the front. This coin was never, ever released for general circulation. And that is for the whole run. From 1985 until 1992, these coins with the Christopher Ironside reverse were only released in proof and brilliant uncirculated sets. No other way. So if you want to get one of these coins as a collector, you, you're not going to be able to get a circulating version of it. Uh, if you get one that looks like it's circulated, it, that's kind of weird. Somebody broke it out of a set and put it into circulation. So what's going to be the next largest coin after the 10P? Well, it turns out we have to make a jump down in value and go all the way down to the 2P. This 2 pence coin is 25.9 millimeters in diameter. Again, Queen Elizabeth on the front. And if you look at it, you know we've changed uh, from the nickel um, copper coins of the uh, that we were looking at and this of course is a bronze coin this is the last year a full last full year of the bronze non-magnetic coins in 1992 they introduced a copper plated steel version which was magnetic and they mixed that in with the bronze the um, the bronze so in 1992, you can get either a magnetic or non-magnetic. In 1991, they're all going to be non-magnetic. And what's on the back of it? Well, of course, we have the Ik Din. Two pence, it says at the top. We have the ostrich feather plumes. 
And this, of course, is the Christopher Ironside engraving of the badge of the Prince of Wales. So the Prince of Wales badge here with the plumes, Ichdeen means I serve. If we tip it over, we see that it, this also has a reeded, uh, a smooth edge, I'm sorry. And uh, there we go again to the back. So what's the next smallest? Well, we just saw it. And this is an interesting one to me because I did not know much about uh, Northern Ireland's flax production. So again, this is a one pound coin from 1991, the second version of the Northern Ireland. And this is flax here. It says one pound on the, on the back. This is the symbol of Northern Ireland. You can see the roots coming down through the crown. And on this particular one pound, this was the second year that they made it. And this 1991 one pound, of course, those of you who remember the old one pound coins, they changed them every year uh, with different symbols. They would have the symbol for uh, England, a symbol for Scotland, a symbol for Wales, and of course, a symbol for Northern Ireland, which is the flax seed. They made 38 and a half million of these for general circulation, but they only made 75,000 uh, brilliant uncirculated. And these were copied um, and counterfeited so much that they actually took this one pound out of circulation. They demonetized it on October 15, 2017. This is uh, an interesting coin because it has what's called the incused edge. It actually has something on here. You see it says Desus et Tutamen. And then there is a cross and you see it is a reeded rim. So it has an incused or inscribed edge. If you can find one of these without the incused or inscribed edge, you have a very valuable coin. But this one, unfortunately, even though it's a, in nice condition, is not the error version. So in 1991, they made 75,000 of these. This is probably worth four to five dollars US. Um, and you do need to make sure you look and make sure it's not a counterfeit one if you get a circulating one because there are a lot of circulating counterfeits. All right, what's next? Well, some of you have seen it already. The 20 fee. And it says Elizabeth II at the top, DG Reg. And this one, the 20 P is, is somewhat rare. It uh, is one that for some reason a lot of people like to collect. It's one of the last of the so-called smaller portraits of Queen Elizabeth. And, and what happened in 1992, they switched to a bigger version. And again, 1992, you might be able to get either the smaller or the larger version. And this one, of course, has the same uh, equilateral curved heptagon as the 50P. It's a little smoother. And it has this inset with a crowned Tudor rose. And 19 on the left side. 91 on the right side, 20 at the bottom, and the word 20 in pence across the top. This is a copper nickel coin, of course. We've gone back to copper nickel. And they did make 36 million of these. Um, but this particular version is worth 2 to $3 because in the br brilliant uncirculated, they only had 75,000. 2 to $3 US. What's next? Well, of course, you can almost tell by the color, right? So this is a one penny coin. And the one penny coin is we move from pence to pennies, as you noticed. Um, so the one is always called a penny. The two is called a pence. And we can see this is what's called a crowned portocullis. This is the symbol now of the House of Parliament is a crown over this spiked gate with the chains on the side. It says one in penny. And we see these beaded exterior smooth edge, and you know we've gone, of course, to bronze by the color here. And last but not least, what's this one? Well, this one is interesting because it is um, back to copper nickel, and it's smaller than the 1P. It's the smallest coin in this 1991 set, and you can see some nice coloring over there uh, if we tip this up. This is a really pretty uh, good version of the coin and it is the oops it's a roller it's the five pence coin let's see if we can get that so you can see it uh if you get this right this is just a very very 
fine version of the coin. Let's let's get it right then, huh? All right, there we go. Right about there. And it says five pence at the top. The number five underneath. And does anybody know what symbol this is? Well, of course, it is the Christopher Ironside Badge of Scotland. And it's the crowned thistle. So some of you know the thistle plant from the one pound coin. Um, and this is, of course, the leaves of the thistle plant. It's kind of the spiked leaves of the thistle plant and the spiked flower. The five at the bottom. This coin, the five pence, was produced in 1991. 725 million. So you can easily get this one in general circulation. It has very little value at all. But if you get it in this particular um, brilliant uncirculated version, it's probably worth two to three dollars United States. We tip it up and we see it has a reeded rim. All right, so there we go, smallest. Next, next. I'm going to have to kind of move our move our focus here. Next, we go to the pound, the two p, the ten p, and the fifty p. And there we have all of them for the 1991 United Kingdom coin set. Have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel. And we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.